Hello everyone and welcome back to Honestly Tea where you're honestly just getting me. So I lived up to my promise from last week's video or last Sunday's video. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But I said that I'm going to start a new thing where I post not only on Sundays but on Wednesdays too. But Wednesdays will be, you know, a shorter video of me doing my speed draws of game character concepts that I came up with and um, anything else that I doodle along the way. So here we go. This is another planet from that game concept I told you about. Uh, I'm going to officially project name it Starry Moon for now until I think of a better title for the game. But this is Saturn, uh, Santer for Saturn. Um, the way I came up with the names actually is that I went to Google, hashtag not sponsored, and <laughs> I just searched like different names for the planets and as I was researching more about them, um, I just chose the cooler ones. So hopefully next week you see Herschel, which is Uranus, and I thought it would be funny too where um, they refer to him as Uranus, but he keeps saying like, no, refer to me as Herschel. I don't want to be referred to that. Anyway, this is about Santa. Um, I, out of all the planets, because I also make constellation concept art too for the different constellation, uh, for the different zodiac. So Leo, Gemini, like all that too. But out of the planets, um, this one is my favorite, uh, I just like design wise, I feel like I took a lot of time into, you know, thinking about what I wanted to do for him and I just love the hair. So like I also looked up personalities and things like that too for them and for him, his personality is that he's sort of a, he's sort of like the, the perfectionist of the group, he's very powerful but he he has like that father figure sort of role um but yeah he's sort of like a his way or the highway sort of character so he's also very vain as well because you know he has all the planets around him he has the rings um you guys won't see me draw his weapon but if you see in like me going back and forth from what i drew physically to what i'm drawing now on my tablet um I wanted his weapon to be a whip just because it seems like circular-ish and he could sort of do different things with that. Um, so yeah, I I worked really hard on him specifically, not to say that I didn't work hard on the other ones, but just like actually making sure I get the hair dimensions right. Um, I love the scar over his eye. Um, I don't know why I made the scar over his eye, it just looked really cool. Um, and you know, I was thinking like, okay, so going back to when I was actually making it, I was thinking that, you know how Saturn has like the different sort of sh cloudiest stripes around it? I don't know if you've seen Saturn. I mean, I'm making it seem like you could see Saturn tomorrow, but like, I just like the, the culmination of all the colors and stuff. And I thought that having that stripe with um, like a tone that matches that would be really cool. Um, so yeah, and again, he's very vain. So if you look really closely, you'll see that he has his, um, his little astrological, astrological sign on his, uh, mask that's on top of his head and on his neck, um, just cause he's that sort of person. I, also, I don't know if you peeped, but in my other characters, they also have their own symbols aside from Eris and Krat, I believe, because the whole point is that they ended up losing their like symbol because they're not a part of the solar system anymore. But everyone else after that has their own symbol somewhere on their body or somewhere visible. And um, you'll see that in the other characters as well. And of course the sun doesn't need one because she's the sun. So yeah, I really had fun making him specifically. Um, and I really hope that you guys like me doing Wednesdays posting stuff. Uh, I just personally was like, hey, this would be nice to do. Why don't I do it? Um, and it sort of holds me accountable to continue doodling and drawing and thinking up more scenarios. And even if I don't end up making a full fledged game, which I really do hope that I, I can do, um, it's still fun to sort of 
use these character concepts in different ways, maybe in different settings, like a comic style thing. I don't know. It, it's where I go from here is <laughs> what matters. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, I also recorded this like a while ago because this character was done, but I'm sort of caught up on, I'm not caught up, but like I'm halfway through the planets right now. So I can't wait for that. Um, on another note, again, since this will be literally my last YouTube video before the new year, I just want to again thank you guys for, you know, sticking with me. I know I, I started this like a month or two ago, starting from now, and it's not like I've done a lot yet, but I will soon. And it, I, I just really enjoy this. I don't enjoy editing. This is like before editing Tiana right now, because I know that I'm going to have to edit in my videos but um I'm learning more about editing which is really cool and how I can mess around with the sounds and speed and making it more enjoyable for you guys but um I could never do this as a full-fledged job so shout out to those who do enjoy this but it, it really took me out of my comfort zone and I think next year for me it'll be more about what I want to do like I'm learning that a lot of the time I do stuff because I have to but this YouTube video and like my arts and crafts stuff is what I want to do because it's something that I control and that's like the most fun thing for me to just see my editing get better um, getting my videos better taking more critiques from you guys and learning about new crafts if you guys know of them um, it's just something that I fully enjoy and I can't wait to see where this takes me in the future. Um, so yeah, what I hope for Wednesday posts is that they're no more than 10 minutes. I want them to be sort of short um, and I could just talk about blurbs and again, whatever I want. But that's sort of what I hope for Wednesdays and then Sundays is just like, Let's talk about this specific topic or that specific topic. So if you have, if you guys have any topic ideas you guys want me to touch upon, whether it be video games, anime, cartoons, life, travel, like anything I'm willing to just rant about and go off on a tangent about. Um, but for Wednesdays, I want it to be more, more focused, even though I haven't really focused much, much on Santa right now, even though you guys are seeing him being made as we speak. But... I want Wednesdays to be more like, this is what I was thinking, fun laughs, um, give you guys something small to look at so it's not a whole 20, 30, 40 hour, 40 hour, ooh, <laughs> 40 minute video um, that you guys are stuck watching, though I appreciate those that do end up watching the longer videos, but I don't know, I feel like splitting up the two and giving you guys two videos in one week and forcing me to actually try to maintain a schedule of two videos for one week will be a fun thing to try for next year um so yeah i hope that you guys like that idea if not let me know in the comments below i hope that you like santa um hopefully in the future when i get all of the characters done and i'm able to upload all of them uh all of the planets i could do some concept art of them all hanging around and how they would interact so you guys get more of a idea of the personalities that are trying to shine um i i can't wait to show you guys earth uh ooh, i don't have the names right in front of me because i don't remember all of them like immediately but i gave earth a different name i think it was tara uh, but <laughs> i love her concept design because she's sort of the shy, like the shy sickly planet of everybody else just because you know I thought that it would be cute to make her like, like so not self-centered, but sort of very shy and have a low self-esteem and also very sick because, you know, we're killing her low key with humans. Um, but I thought that would be really cute. I really love uh, Kese, Kasai, uh, who is Mars, just because she's like the polar opposite of Terra, but they're best friends and like very action-y, like God of War sort of thing. Also, I wanted to be, I wanted when I made the planets and the constellations to sort of be almost like, um, like Steven Universe type, 
where they don't necessarily have a gender, but they sort of free form. So they sort of go with whatever they feel their personality is more leaning towards, um, which I thought was also cute. But yeah, I'll explain more about that next week. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And just remember, every second that you see is me just connecting pieces. Thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. Thank you for watching this video.